Welcome back to the channel and I hope that you have to level this video back with another video. So today it's gonna be the review of the Siberia OS based on Android 10 official for the Redmi Note 3 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here's my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the Siberia OS. Let me first show you the about device section before talking about anything else. So going into the Android version and here it is. As you can see, the Android version is obviously Android 10, the latest from Google, which is expected. And yeah, this ROM is also pretty much similar to other Android 10 ROMs, which I have reviewed on this channel. There are slight differences like in performance and battery life. I'll be talking about that in the later part. So do watch this video until the end. As you can see, the kernel again is the same, which we have seen earlier in some other ROMs too, Android 10 ROMs. And the version is 3.10.108, kernel mode x69. Build date is April 17, 2020, Friday. This is the latest build at least at the time of recording this video. Siberia version, it says version 3.6. Security patch is of 5th of April, 2020, which is expected. Today is 1st of May, by the way. And with the latest build, it will be synced with the May security patch. And yeah, here it is. Digital well-being is also there and it shows your current usage. I mean, today's usage. I directly started recording the video after taking the device today. As you can see, it says less than one minute today and advanced control two. Here it is. This is also called as Xiaomi parts in some other rooms. I've already reviewed all this in like so many rooms. You can check it out. It's basically like there is a performance mode to over here, performance settings. If you put it on performance, PUBG gameplay is a little bit different. I mean, a little bit better, slight. It will not be noticeable by the way, but uh, in extended usage, you can notice that. And a couple of other stuff like the display option. Going into this dark theme is over here and it will turn all the supported applications into black like Instagram, etc. And talking about the customizations, here are a couple of customization options. First on the list is the system customization and going into this as you can see you have all the needed stuff like the buttons customization you can remap your hardware keys from here as you can see and also change couple of settings for your volume rockers gaming mode it says over here customize gaming preferences you can check it out as you can see here are a couple of stuff like ringer in gaming that's really nice as per me you can enable this from here and here are a couple of gestures as you can see so going into the panels, as you can see, here are a couple of panels like the status bar, notifications, navigation bar. Going into the status bar, you can enable battery percentage from here. As you can see inside the icon, outside the icon works well. Even the network traffic monitor was there over there. You can enable that. So these are a couple of basic customizations which will be needed in day to day usage. So if you want more information, you can check my previous videos or you can install the ROM and check it out for yourself. Talking about other stuff, as you can see, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything works well over here. I didn't have any issues with those. Volti should also work fine, but Volti for my device is broken. You can check it out. So if anybody can comment it in the comment section about the Volti, it will be really helpful for me. And as you can see, here are a couple of applications. I installed Geekbench, Speed Test, YouTube, PUBG. All other apps can be installed with this ROM except those applications. Here is the camera app. Camera app is not working properly, guys. As you can see, dim light over here. Even in the daylight conditions, I don't know why photos are not that great at all. So if you are using this ROM, you need to download third party camera apps like the Google camera app. Updater is working fine. I actually downloaded the ROM, I mean the latest build, 17th April build from the updater and flashed it directly from here itself. Works well. I didn't have any issues with the updater. Going into the Geekbench, let me show you my results so you can get an idea regarding the performance. So going into the scores, as you can see, I've got a score of 287 on single and 868 on the multi-core which is really good i didn't have any issues with the performance in this room it's working well as it should work slight lags here and there which is like present in all other rooms it's because of the device this is really old now and pubg gameplay is also really good you can play pubg definitely you can play pubg no any issues with that it was playable for most of the part and even in the extended usage it was working well i didn't have any issues with that sound output etc is also really good i didn't have any issues with those two let me show you my battery usage till now so going into the battery and guys this is not that accurate i'm telling you straight away because my device was on standby for most of the time as you can see i installed this room like three days or four days ago and i should say that this room is having one of the best standby times in an android 10 room till now what i have tested here it is it's still running on 34 percent and wi-fi was on for like all the four days day and night 
I didn't switch off until there was some power cuts and yeah here is my results so till now the battery in this room is really good I didn't had any issues with the battery like there is no any standby drain and even the standby time I mean the screen on time was really good PUBG gameplay it was just draining 3% of batteries like one TDM match 3% not more than that and yeah apart from that everything seems to work really good so guys this was a quick little review of the Siberia I was running on the Redmi Note 3 so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also do follow me on Instagram link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere over here this is all about technology 24 into 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day peace